Well, Germany is a highly developed nation when it comes to ICTs. You're one of the, the world's leading nations. Uh, in what way are you uh, helping development by taking part in the process uh, in RESIS? We, we have uh, supported, uh, on, on one hand, uh, the physical uh, infrastructure to develop uh, yeah, all the means to get access to internet in African countries, for instance. That's very important. Connectivity is not uh, uh, very good in Africa. That, on the other hand, we also have used uh, ICT technologies for uh, e-governance, for e-education. But uh, I think we have to reach another stage for, for using ICT not only as a mean to an end for normal development policy or issues of developing uh, of development but also to to understand a little bit better from a perspective of developing countries and uh, and the very poor which kind of different questions can be solved by using ICT uh, solutions and business models uh, yeah to 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 change a whole range of possible goals that's what a new technology has uh, changed everywhere in history and ICT will do it and, and maybe the most interesting part of the world where ICT can change a lot is uh, the, the developing world well. With regards to the objectives, they are clearly defined in the WESIS process, the, uh, the action lines. Uh, where would you say that Germany is making the, the most progress? Uh, I, I would like to underline that the, the main uh, progress we, we have made or we want to make is the is educational sector. I think Education is key for development, but new uh, approaches for educational, uh, yeah, for, for every kind of education, vocational training, universi universities, but also primary schools and, and high schools, that, that's all, it's interesting uh, for using this uh, ICT uh, issues to, to yeah, to, to have the same access to information for a student in, in, in Burkina Faso, like a professor in Harvard. So that, what will, will change, uh, that, that will change a lot. We also have to ensure that new business models, new applications created in African countries will also, yeah, create wealth uh, in Africa and not only will uh, yeah, transmit it to, to, uh, to US uh, companies or other big ICT companies so that uh, we will see the same what we have seen uh, with the raw material sector where only uh, the extraction took place but the, uh, the value chain, the wealth creation uh, where uh, outside Africa and, and maybe we need a, a legal framework for this new ICT issues also in Africa. That's another big issue also for, for African countries but uh, for, for those uh, of the developed world who are interested in that uh, wealth uh, and value change and, and, benefiting, uh, and, and benefit will be in Africa.